Our afternoon service is called Yiskor. Yiskor means memory, means remember. It is a time for us to especially remember those we hold dear in our hearts, those who have made their transition from this level of being and are continuing on their journey, merging back into the ocean of the One. In this service, we honor the names, the names of those we remember. We also honor the names of those we don't know. It has been our tradition over the past many years, in addition to members of our community lighting light of memory for those they seek to see included in this service. To light a few more candles on the bima. Six candles to hold in light of memory the six million names of those our nation, our people has lost during the Holocaust, during the Shoah. But also to add a seventh candle, to add a seventh candle to include the names of all those, the world over Jews or non-Jews, who have also fallen victim of genocide. Through our memories, we seek to strive to open our hearts. To open our hearts in great compassion. To hold together the possibilities of seeing a time in our world where genocide and senseless killing would only be that a memory, and no longer a reality. That we might awaken someday knowing that genocide is forevermore a thing of the past. So we affirm through our light, the coming of a day where, though we will continue to remember such acts of unspeakable cruelty, they will no longer be, long, no longer be part, they will no longer be things that we have to live through. At the same time, a Yisko service reminds us of our own mortality. We too are on the way. We too are on the way and none of us knows, none of us knows how many more Yom Kippur we have. And in a lot of ways, this is a call to us to make the most out of the practices that this Yom Kippur invites us into. To not wait another year to forgive. Do not wait another year to heal what needs to be healed in our lives.
Do not e wait another day to do the work of inner healing that we, all of us, all of us, need to still do. This is a call for us to refocus, to become clear once more of what it is that truly matters, that truly matters in our lives, so that we can let go of what is just adding more clutter into our everyday living. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. So why not forgive now? Why not let go now? Why not open our hearts? Take the risk right now. What kind of a life do we really want to be living on this coming year.